Hello everyone, I hope all of you are doing well. So today we will discuss another problem of grid code that is 410 split array largest sum. So what is the problem statement here? So this is the problem is 410 split array largest sum. Given an array nums which consist of non-negative integers and an integer m, you can split the array into m non-empty continuous subarrays. Write an algorithm to minimize the largest sum among this m subarrays. So here one example is given. So this is one input array nums which consists of 5 integers 7 to 5, 10 and 8. And another integer is provided which is m equal to 2. m equal to 2 means m equal to 2, 3 or anything. That means you have to divide this array with m number of subarrays and that should be a continuous subarray. That means here if you check 7 to 5 will be an array and 10, 8 can be an array. 7, 2 can be an array or 5, 10, 8 can be another array. As m equal to 2, we have to divide it into 2 array. If m equal to 3, we have to divide it in 3 array. But all subarrays should be a continuous subarray. Means their position should not be changed. And after getting all the subarrays, you have to sum up their digits or numbers and that maximum sum should be very minimum here. Means 7 to 5, the sum will be 9 plus 5, 14. 10 plus 8, the sum is 18. So if you divide it in another way, maybe 7 is the thing and then other part is 2, 5, 10, 8, that time this sum will be maximum. So we have to minimize the sum and give the result. Now let's take this example and we will elaborate our discussion. So now here we have the given array 7 to 5, 10, 8 and m equal to 2. That means we have to divide the array into two subarray. So how we can divide this? First start with this particular point. So if we check now, I can divide it as 7 and the other part as 2, 5, 10, 8. And the sum of this array is 7 and the sum here is 25, 2 plus 5 plus 10 plus 8. What other possibility is there? We can shift. Then 7 and 2 we can take in the left part and right part we can take 5, 10, 8. And this is their corresponding sum. Similar fashion 7 to 5 one part and 10 and 8 another part. Then 7 to 5, 10 and one part and 8 is another part. And I think these are the things only possible. Now if you check here in this pair what is the maximum sum? That is 25. In this pair the maximum sum is 23. In this pair it is 18 and in this pair it is 24. So what is the minimum between all this? The minimum is sum equal to 18. So this is the result we have to find here. This 18. So one thing to consider here before moving to the next section is if you look at the results you can check which one is our result so other part is close to that value means in this case 14 is close to 18 as a number so for other cases 23 and 9 has huge difference than 25 and 7 then 24 and 8 so this particular point we have to make use how we will i will show you next so now i have taken one big array for understanding purpose and our value m is equal to 2. That means we have to divide this array into two subarray and check for the answer. So what basic thing can come into our mind? So we have to divide this array into two part. Suppose this is one part and this is one part maybe. Let's assume the result sum is in this part only and the result is x in this case. Then obviously this part will be less than x and maybe something smaller than x, right? But the question is how we can determine this value x? So what can be the range of this x? So if we have to define the range of this value x, that can be either starting from 0 to 45. What is 45? That is the total summation of all the numbers in this array. So whatever this particular array will contain, 
where the result is lying that should be the range from 0 to 45 right but do we have to start from 0 because see for each and every array if we divide them into sub part and all somewhere that highest number will also lie that is 11 right so that part 11 can be our minimum maximum value means we can at least start from 11 and check for the range so instead of 0 we can start with 11 so now we got to know that the result actually will lie from 11 to 45 okay here i have defined one variable called answer where i will store the answer so now as we got to know that the result will lie between 11 to 45 so how to find the exact result so that we can do using binary search so if we define a mid here which will be start plus end by 2 then we will get the mid value as 28 so why not to start with 28 and check so what we have to do now is we have to add this value one by one so 2 plus 4 is 6 6 plus 6 is 12 12 plus 3 is 15 15 plus 4 is 19 when we will add 19 with 11 it will become 30 which is greater than 28 so we have to stop here so the array the sub array from 0 to 4 that contains 19 as a sum which is less than 28 so we got one pair now we have to check again from starting from 11 so 11 then 8 means 19 then 7 is 26 and this is the end of the array so this part actually it is 26 so how many parts we got in this array which has some value less than 28 here is one and here is one 2 is it equal to m yes it is equal to m that means we got our first answer and the value is 28 but there is a chance right we can still reduce this answer maybe for 27 or 25 or 26 also it will be valid right so we have to drill down further level where this condition is still valid so now what we have to do is we have as this big number is satisfying this condition we have to check for some smaller number which will maybe also satisfying the condition so for that purpose as per the binary search rule we have to move the start or end but in this case as we have to go for the lower number we will make this end as mid minus 1 we will shift it so our new end will be 27 which is mid minus 1 okay and then again we have to calculate the mid so our new mid will be 19 which is 11 plus 27 by 2 so now if you check using 19 how many sub arrays we are getting which is in the range of 19 so as from the previous result what we can see is from 0 to 4 already 19 contains then here I have to erase a bit because we will get new entry so from 11 to 8 it is also 19 and this is one part which is 7 so all these three parts are less than 19 but how many of them we got that is 3 so this is actually greater than m so in this case we not got the answer means 19 is not the proper value here why we got 3 instead of 2 because the 19 may be very less number that's why it is creating 3 parts it is not combining it within 2 part right so we have to increase the value of 19 to something else so this time the start we have to change so start we can do as mid plus 1 so our new start will be mid plus 1 and now we have to again calculate the mid value 
that will be 20 plus 27 by 2 which is 23 in this case now we have to check for 23 and we have to check the results so we have to erase this part and again check for 23 so for 23 if you check from 0 to 4 it is 19 it is satisfying because 19 plus 11 will be 30 so from 11 till 8 is 19 19 plus 7 will be 26 so we have to stop here and here also three parts we are getting right three parts which is satisfying by 23 so we need some bigger number than 23 to make it a sub array of 2 right so 23 also is not our answer so now this time we have to make our start from 24 which is mid plus 1 so our new start will be 24 and new mid will be 24 plus 27 by 2 that is 25 so if we have to start using 25 then what result we are getting we have to check so in this case from 2 to 4 it is 19 okay this will be one part so from here 11 to 7 it is 26 right so that's why this will be one part which is 19 and this will be one part which is 7 so here in this case also three part means this this will also not contribute to the result so we have to again move forward and this time also we have to make the start from 25 plus 1 that will be 26 so our new start will be 26 and what will be our new mid that will be 26 plus 27 by 2 that is 26 so let me erase this part so if we have to check for 26 from 0 to 4 it is 19 then 11 to 8 is 19 then 19 to 7 is exactly 26 right we can move further so here in this case the result is 2 means we able to divide it with two part where the each and every part is less than or equal to 26 as sum. So now we have to update this answer to 26. So if we have to check now if we can fine tune the result a bit. So then 26 we got as a result. And if we have want to check that is less than something 26 also will satisfy this. For that purpose what we have to do is now we have to make the end as mid minus 1 means we have to shift the end so mid minus 1 will be 26 minus 1 25 so our new end will be 25 but it is less than the start value so the condition we can apply here is we can continue this operation until and unless start means end is actually greater than start but here in this case what we saw is 25 will be less than 26 so we have to stop the operation now whatever result we got this is actually our answer so 26 will be our answer and how we can divide the arrays that is also simple you can see from like 2 to 4 will be one part that is 19 and this part will be 26 and 26 will be our result so now what is the time complexity involved in this program so time complexity if you check so first part is doing a binary search which will take log n of time so after doing a binary search search we are getting one mid value that mid value we are using to get the number of parts right so we are scanning through the entire array and checking like which part has less value compared to this mid value and we are getting the number as 2 3 or anything so that is taking o n of time but for each and every one we are doing the same thing so ultimately it will take o n log n of time so the time complexity to solve this problem will be o n log n of time to start with the program uh, this method will be given to us okay which is the split array function where you will receive one nums array and the integer k which is the how many number of split we want and what I am doing here is so as I have mentioned so I will define start and end and answer as a variable so our start will be what the maximum number here 
so i am scanning the entire array and getting the maximum number and i am storing it in star and end will be the sum of all the numbers so i am maintaining end also in the same array and i will return the answer another method i have defined which will return a boolean value which is check so it will ask for the mid value so against that mid value i have to check how many parts we can divide then integer uh, like numbers array and the k value so i have to first do that binary search part here to call this method so here what will happen is so start will be always less than equal to end and what you have to do now is we can define the mid value so our mid value will be here mid which will be start plus end by 2 now we have to call this function if this check function there we have to pass this mid and the nums and the k value so if that is returning true that time our answer will be that mid and that time to fine tune the uh, operation what we can do is we can shift the end to mid minus 1 or else we can do one thing this new start will be mid plus 1 so this is the way we have to call this check function now we will write the code for the check function what will be inside the check function we will write and the check function will be this so here i have to define a variable called sum and i have to keep track of the count so we have to iterate over the like number array and whenever if we can get the one number itself is greater than mid then we have to return false because that time we will not get the answer so then we have to keep track of the sum so sum will be sum plus num i and if that sum is greater than mid then we have to uh, check for a new sum from there so we have to make the count as plus one because we got a array a sub array which is less than the mid and then from that particular element we can again start the new sum and we'll keep on doing it and at the end we will make a count plus plus why it is because uh, suppose so I will quickly tell like why to do a count plus plus at the end because suppose we are checking for 28 so from 2 to 4 we get the result as 90 now from 11 we are again starting so 11 to 8 is 19 19 to 7 it is 26 and now this is the end of the array so already we counted this part as 1 but as it is end and we are not getting anything which is greater than 28 but we are stopping the loop here right so that's why at the end we have to do a plus one then only we get that it is divided in two part okay and i am here just printing the count now if the count is less than equal to k that means we have to return a true if it is equal to k that means we are within the range so we have to fine tune now we have to go for some lower range or else we have to return false so this is the check part where actually i am checking for the number of parts and getting a decision and here i am doing the binary search part so now we have to submit the solution and check yeah so it is running so thanks for watching this and i will put the github link for this code in the description box mm -hmm.